is a Capitol Hill rioter hurling a fire extinguisher at cops. It strikes one officer on the head. Now citizen detectives are trying to track down the suspect. Speculation on social media is that this may be the man. In this image released by Capitol Police, he appears to be wearing a knit cap, plaid jacket, and backpack, oh, just is him. like those worn by the suspect. There's speculation that the initials CFD on his cap may stand for Chicago Fire Department. Capitol Hill cop Ryan Sicknick was Jesus. killed by a blow to the head with a fire extinguisher, but it's not clear if he was hit during this incident. Authorities in all 50 states have been warned to brace for more violence. This poster circulating online calls for an armed march on Capitol Hill and all state capitals this Sunday, January 17th, culminating with what's said to be the largest armed protest ever to take place on American the soil fuck? on Inauguration Day. Domestic terrorism expert Brian Levin huh? says that authorities will be prepared this time. Anybody who's thinking that they're going to go to D.C. and get no resistance is going to be very bluntly surprised. This time, they're not going to be able to do a sucker punch. U.S. Attorney Michael Sherwin revealed a federal grand jury is working overtime on up to 170 cases. We're looking at significant felony cases tied to sedition and conspiracy. That's crazy. The Capitol Hill cops are under investigation over their actions during the invasion. The cop who posed for a selfie with a rioter has been suspended. So is this officer, seen wearing a MAGA hat. He claims he was trying to calm the rioters and rescue officers trapped by the crowd. There were also cops from other jurisdictions among the rioters. Nicholas Maybe. Lynch, a former North Miami police officer, live streamed from inside the Capitol. I love my boys in blue, but this is overwhelming for them. There's no way they could, there's no way they could there's no way they can hold us back. The national roundup of suspects continues. 36-year-old Jake Angeli, who wore a horned hat and furs when he burst into the Senate chamber, doesn't have the stomach for life behind bars. His mom says he's not eating. He gets very sick if he doesn't eat organic food, literally will get physically sick. And Adam Johnson charged with absconding with Nancy Pelosi. <sighs> what? His mom says he's not eating. He gets very sick if he doesn't eat organic food. Literally, will get physically sick. And Adam, wait, is that is that their defense that, that he's facing charges, but he can't go to jail because he's gonna get sick because his tummy hurts when he doesn't eat organic food? Sick. And Adam Johnson, charged with absconding with Nancy Pelosi's lectern, posted twenty-five thousand dollars bail and walked out of court in flip-flops and shorts. He's a stay-at-home dad with five children and is married to a doctor. Obviously, if we could turn back the clock, I suspect that, that, that he would. So dumb, dude. The, okay, chat. Chat, you could have posted this video on The Onion and I, I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference.